Hello and welcome to the Telerik App Builder Quick Start video. We're going to take a look and see how easy it is to get started with App Builder. So I'm on the Telerik Platform's workspace landing page, and what we're going to do is create a new workspace and call it something really original like Demo Workspace. Okay, so we have a new workspace, and just to let you know, a workspace provides access to several different features like our backend services, analytics, mobile testing, and so on. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on creating a new App Builder project. You have a few options when you create a new App Builder project. You could start with one of our example projects, or even clone an existing Git repository, or you could start with one of our project templates. We have several different project templates you can choose from. The first one here is a plain Cordova application, which leaves the choice of UI frameworks and other tooling up to you. It's very minimal. The App Builder Friends template gives you the assets necessary to work with our backend services, and it also includes a small sample app that demonstrates how to use some of those features. You could also choose a jQuery mobile project a Kendo UI mobile project, or a Kendo UI DataViz, which is great for data visualization on mobile devices. So let's go with a Kendo UI mobile project, and I'll call it App Builder 1. So the App Builder web client has loaded, and you can see that there's an IDE surface that probably feels familiar to you. We've got an output console at the bottom, a project browser on the right, and you can see some of the assets that were included as part of this project template. So if we open up our index.html, you'll see some script and CSS and markup content that's been included as part of a sample app with this project template. You can use as much or as little of the sample app as you like. It's really there as a getting started guideline. Now we could also look at the app.js file that was generated, and you'd see an example of hooking into Cordova events like device ready, as well as how to stand up a Kendo UI mobile application instance and more. Now the sample app is actually runnable as is, so let's go ahead and run it in our simulator. Now this is a web-based Cordova emulator environment. And the great thing about it is it allows you to use mature tooling of desktop browsers like Firefox and Chrome to debug, inspect, and profile your app before you even deploy it to a device. So we'll run it in an iPhone 5 simulator. All right, so here's the sample app. You can change the skin and navigate between views and so on, but we can also use the simulator to let us change device orientation or even simulate the look and feel of different versions of iOS. Now we can emulate geolocation changes by using the location tab here on the right. So for example, we could pull away from the default location and go to say Columbus, Ohio. And we can also simulate changes in the connection type. This gives you a good starting point in testing how your app responds to connectivity changes. So you can debug the simulator using your browser's development tools. So I'm in Chrome, so I can open Chrome DevTools to inspect the DOM, view JavaScript source, set breakpoints, use the console, really any other feature that the DevTools would allow me to do. We can also emulate the look and feel of your app on an Android device. So in this case, Kendo UI Mobile is providing an Android OS themed look, but you could also opt for a flat theme or you can customize it to your heart's content. It's really up to you. Now App Builder makes it very simple to deploy to actual devices as well. So let's choose build from the run menu. We'll build for iOS and we'll use the App Builder companion app that will allow us to deploy our app without provisioning the iOS device first. When the build completes, we'll get a QR code that we can scan. So all we have to do is use a QR code reader on the device, scan the code, follow the prompts to open the link, and then the App Builder companion app will launch on the device running your app inside a thin container. Now I'm using an app called Reflector on my Mac to show you my iPhone 5 running our sample app. You can see that we can navigate through the views, play with the sample app a bit, changing the themes and so on. But one of the neat features of the companion app is that I can hold a three finger gesture on my device's touchscreen and it will refresh and pull down the latest build of my app. This can be a huge help when you want to quickly see what a change looks like on an actual device. Now, one other thing. Earlier, when we created our App Builder project, we had the option to clone from an existing Git repository. We can also take this existing App Builder project and connect it to a Git repository now. So on the version control menu, we can choose Configure Remote Repository and then enter the URL to our repo and click Connect. And now we can actually push our code. In this case, since I'm pushing to GitHub, I'm being prompted for my credentials. So I can choose to remember them if I want, or I can make this a one-off push for now. And once it's done, I can flip over to GitHub here and we'll see that my code was pushed. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching the App Builder Quick Start video. And check out our other videos, our blogs, and documentation to learn more about building apps with Telerik App Builder.